Hey everybody, welcome back. It is indeed time for some more Exanima. So, as usual, let's do our warm-up. Go into the old school arena. Alright, this time I will not... Whoops, I will not forget to put my name in. Alright. Now the question at this point is, what am I going to warm up with today? And we're going with a different shirt also. I like to live on the edge every now and again. I think... I think I'm just going to go... Yeah, I'm just going to a real standard warm-up here and go ahead and use the two-handed sword. Alright. Ooh! Yes! That is... Uh, now, that's a, that's a reasonable start. All right. Oh, where? Oh, okay, I really. Oh, I tried to hit him with an overhead, but I guess my weapon was, my sword was caught on his hook or something. I have no idea. There we go. Starting to get a lot more comfortable with these overheads, clearly, and that is a good thing. Alright, go ahead and take his clothes, as we always do. Right, I need to aim a little bit to the left. There we go, because I want to avoid the shield, clearly. Oh, that was dumb. Nice thrust to the neck. Nope. Uh, thought I had that for a second. There we go. Yeah, so both both the overhead and the thrust, I seem to be I seem to be figuring them out finally, and it only took a couple generations, but did get it done. All right, let's uh, move on. Don't need anything else from that one. Yeah, he totally juked me out on that. Damn it. Alright, let's get the hell out of the corner. Probably a good idea. really don't want to give up on the thrust. I'm going to keep trying it here. There we go. Alright, that's that's not too bad. Okay, so now we can pick up the cap and the chain vest or shirt, whatever it is. And the waistcoat. That will do. There we are. Yeah, I like that very much. As do I enjoy that. All right, thank you. Um, does she? Yeah, she has something. I think I normally take the boots, even though I'm not happy about it. The uh, pink Uggs. Are, that's not usually my style. You know what I mean? But uh, it does offer slightly better protection. Oh, uh, yeah. Those thrusts are getting... I'm, I'm starting to get a better feel for that for sure. We're going to switch that out and put the gloves on and definitely the belt because what could possibly be more crucial than the damn belt, I ask you. All right. That was supposed to be a thrust. I don't know what happened. I need to get out of this corner quickly. You know, relying more heavily on the thrust is actually proving to be 
very helpful in many different situations, but not the least of which would be these people with the shields. Even though I'm not... There it is. I have many more options when I'm dealing with them now. There it is. There it is. Hey, Adderlove, what's up? Oh, so with the two-handed sword, the thrust is much quickly, much is done much more quickly because it's for close quarters. All right. Um, yeah, we're gonna take those van braces and the old vest, the greaves, the spalders, and the shoes, and yeah, I'll take the gloves. Why not? Okay, so the thrust is shorter in range for the two-handed sword. Excellent. Excellent to know. Oh my, yes! Right. Now that... That's how that dude ought to be handled every single time. I don't understand why I'm so inconsistent. Oh, that's right, because I'm... I suck, and I'm a moron. Okay. Now let's go to the expert arena. Alright, so we want this chain vest there, the gambeson, um, and the leggings. Yeah, alright. And we'll switch to that sword. Why not? Oh, nope. I know, I'm over-relying on the thrusts. Whoa, sh shit, that was close. But I really want to get these damn things right. Man. Alright, never... Let, eh, let's try the overhead, then. Not much better. <laughs> oh, shit. I totally thought he was going to fall there. Okay, there we go. Wow, I never have that much trouble with that guy. Uh, okay. Switch. Oh, uh, we don't want that. We do want the chain leggings, though. And I believe that's it? Yeah, alright. Whoa. Oh, man, we got real lucky there. Oh, what? Oh, man, what happened? I totally screwed up there. Oh, my God. The thrust totally didn't happen. Oh, that's real bad. Oh. Oh, I totally thought I was out of range. Okay. Okay, so the thrust is if they get too close, and therefore I'm put at a disadvantage. Uh, because my advantage is at range. Gotcha. Uh, so basically, instead of trying to to <laughs> to thrust at them from like five feet away, I should be waiting until it's necessary. Uh, okay. Uh, I don't even. I don't even think. Well, we'll take those just for the hell of it. I don't think I want any of this other stuff. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Probably be going for his legs if I can help it, because they don't have lamellar covering them. Oh, for God's sake! Come on. There it is. I think just like last time, I'm gonna switch to the Bardiche here after we put this action on real quick. And we don't need 
that. Okay. Uh, where the hell did it? Okay, it's right here. So we're going to set that up as our secondary. All right. always make that same mistake when I overcommit on the overhead. There we go. Alright. Okay, let's see. Gambeson cloth leggings, chain leggings, most of this other stuff. But we don't need that plate because we got better covering here, so that will be fine for now. Alright. See, I, I expected the parry to work that time, and he, he got through it. That's why I often don't trust, like I discussed, I think, like two streams ago, why I don't really trust the the auto parry. All right, Coif. Uh, we'll put on that helmet. Hey, what's up, cat? Uh, belt. And I don't think I need any of these other things. <laughs> no, I'm good, Adderall. I'll, I'll leave the breastplate. Perfect. Oh, Okay, now we're switching over to plate. That is for sure. Or we're doing nothing. There we go. And, in fact, we will put that gambeson on as well. And the cloth leggings. Just so everything matches, even though you can't see it. Damn, she totally cheated me on that one. Oh, that's not that's not good. Not good. Okay, let's try and uh, get this overhead going again. Come on. So very close on that last one. Come on, please. What the hell was that? Ah, okay, good. Uh, yeah, okay. Yeah, we definitely want to avoid just having the breastplate because it leaves your back completely exposed, which is what Adderla is reminding me. Uh, and yeah, it's not... It's not fun to lose like a quarter of your health when you get hit in the back. Uh, let's change that. That should be good. Okay, so... I'm not feeling too good about my Bardiche right now. <laughs> Going up against the Daedra, but what the hell. I should probably try to stay in close instead of backing off every time considering the range advantage that he has on me. This is not going well. He's way too quick in that ridiculous armor. I'm 
totally zoned in right now. I shouldn't have said anything. God damn it. I'm losing it. Screw this up, Odin, you moron. Oh, good god, alright. Okay. Thankfully we are done with the damn arena right now. Let's get back to story mode where we just entered the third floor, I believe. Yeah, I think that's right. Oh, we almost got our skill up here. I'm going to start wearing heavier and heavier armor, so it's probably going to be a good idea to start working on maneuvering in armor too, already, because I don't plan on using a shield. Oh um, yeah, that's two of them. Oh, did I take... I took her out with a single thrust, didn't I? Oh, I really need to drink my health salve, I didn't even realize it. Alright, there we go. Okay, yeah. Um, let's let's drink the salve. Alright, so that's slowly going to regen our red health restriction here, and then eventually we'll be able to get all our health back. Well, theoretically. Um, okay, I don't, I don't need any of that. Oh, the salve only does 70 to 80 percent of your max health. Damn. Okay. All right. Oh yes, this is the level with the the magical helmet. That is excellent. All right. What is that? A metal bar, I believe he has. Okay. Yeah, health. Oh, it's it is still going. It looks like, just a little. Well, we'll fight anyway. Nope. I'll still manage to get him even after I hit the wall. Oh, is he? Okay. Okay, he's down. <laughs> Just making sure. Uh, well, thanks for not attacking me, like, immediately, but, uh, I'm not gonna return the favor. Odin, you're so mean to the zombies! Uh, yeah, I know. I know. I'm sorry? <laughs> Like, I realize there's almost like an element of stealth that you could apply in the story mode using these uh, timid zombies, but uh, I'm all about killing everything, so just my thing. Ooh. Well, that is a nice, like, it looks like it's, it's leather and it looks like it's like vinyl or something. Uh, let's see how that compares here. Yeah, no. Yeah, not as good. Not as good. And we already have a gambeson on right here. Or actually, that's the padded coat. I think we have a gambeson on under that. Yeah. Well, the new one looks better. Okay, so... There's nothing in there. Alright, oh. It is a... It's skill time here. Alright, so I am going to go ahead with maneuvering an armor to... Uh, normally, I would close the door, Adela, uh, so that no one would sneak up on me, but then I quickly forget where I am, <laughs> usually. Okay, yeah, so I'm going backwards here. So I try to keep them open whenever I've gone through them. Ah, yes, this is the room we love. Go ahead and push that in. Ooh. 
All right, so the time is upon us now. We now have a magical helm that's going to allow us to see a little bit in the darkness so that we don't always have to be using a torch. You know, hmm, what is my... Oh, that's right, I'm dual-wielding the bedpan still. I need to change my secondary to the two-handed sword. Oh, that, that damn sword does it every time. Ah, worn padded coat. No, don't want the boots either. Thank you. That all seems cool. Ah. Oh, I remember this dude. Zwick! As you know, I have placed a very special order with you. Given the significant payment I have given you, I expect prompt delivery. Why have I yet to hear from you? Alright, so we have this chain shirt. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and drop it on just to compare it to what I'm wearing. Oh, they're the same thing. Okay. Nope, we're going to... You know you're going to close the door with the sword. You know that. Okay. Nothing of interest in here. Sad. Is there nothing? Well, what is, what is that? Is there something there? I guess not. Okay. Maybe not. Just hallucinating. It happens sometimes at the end of a long day. Alright, that was that basin. Okay. Or the washroom with the basin in it. So we went that way to get the helm. Okay, so we're done with this particular area. And to make that abundantly clear to my future self, I'm going to drag this over here. Oh, come on now. Got to get it just right so it actually snaps to the ground. I know this is taking entirely too much time. <laughs> Oh my god. It you know what? I'll somehow I'll somehow remember. Okay, not seeing anything here. Ah, there's a loot container. Ah, come on. Empty. Uh, you know what? There may not be anything in this old... Am I still stuck on that? I'm trying to remember if there's another one over here. There isn't. Ah, damn it. Okay. Okay, so let's... Ah, uh, sorry, Warhammer. Okay, wait, uh, no, I haven't been here. I thought this was the room I was just in. Okay, that's a bathroom. Oh, empty chests give uh, XP too? Excellent. Alright. <laughs> Nothing but trouble when it comes to that damn bench. Okay. Which way did I enter from? I never... I never pay enough attention. This is probably where I came from, isn't it? Yeah, it is. No, no, it's not, actually. But then, how do you explain that? I... It is, damn it! I'm telling you, all my instincts are wrong. That's one thing I've learned over the years. No matter what my gut... You know, it's very much like the Seinfeld episode. Where George has that revelation that... If everything his instincts tell him to do is wrong, then he should always do the opposite. And, of course, things work out brilliantly. Alright, I'm actually going to switch over to the two-handed sword here, because we've got this nice blue glow, thanks to our magical helmet. I 
try to keep them lined up so that the one behind will kill the one in front, or at least help. Alright, it won't be necessary. The services are no longer needed. Oh crap. That'll do. Okay, that leather cap is not impressive. Let's see how this compares. Our thick leather vest is better. But I do think they're both designed for women, which is fantastic. Okay, so in general, south leads to the entrance and north leads to the portal. Thank you, Adderla. Okay, you know what? I didn't mark that doorway, which is going to come back to haunt me, so let me go ahead and throw something down there. Okay. Okay, the worn jacket, that's not worth replacing our stuff with. How about over here? Ah, now there is a two-handed Warhammer. Now that is tempting as hell. That is damn tempting. I'm going to pick it up one way or another. Let's make that our secondary. I don't know if I... How often have I even used that? Hmm, I'm trying to recall. I, yeah, I don't know. Okay, I don't... Are there... No, I don't think there's a loot container in the room. Can I check that... No, there's nothing down there. Okay. Let me switch over to the torch there. All right. No on the rawhide coat and no on the tunic. Uh, well, these are and this is a hell of a lot of coats and jackets in here, but don't need any of them. Heavy waistcoat? Uh, no. So, because the, the waistcoat would replace the vest, right? Yeah. Not going to do that. And a jewelry box, as usual, nothing in it, but it weighs very little. But it can hold stuff, so I always try to keep one on me, but I'll end up putting it in a doorway, so it doesn't really matter. But you know how that goes. Alright, so, well, hey, how about that? Not about to part with the, the dual-wielded bedpans just yet. Right, let's back up just a bit. I'm going to switch to that two-handed warhammer. See what's going on here. Oh, sh shit! That is what I am talking about. One hit, one kill. That was that was great. That was great. What else could I say? And we'll leave the body in the doorway. That'll be just fine. Oh crap. Speaking of bedpans, oh this is much quicker in the end than uh those other two handy weapons. Oh, shit. Oh! Glorious. Oh, man, I am instantly... Oh, yeah, I am instantly in love with this two-handed warhammer. That is the truth. Alright, why don't you come over here? It's so hard to move these bodies sometimes. Let's just pick up the weapon. Kind of want to just keep this equipped so I don't have to keep switching to it. Yep, because there's going to be more zombies like with the one right there. Oh, 
Oh crap, I thought I was out of range. There we go. Okay, south goes the sleeping quarters, and east is the armory. Uh, or east and then southeast is the armory. Okay. Well, let's go to the... Go to the armory first. Okay, that is a bathroom. And you'll note the faint blue glow, which is courtesy of our magical helmet. And is there really nothing in here? I hate these rooms with nothing in them. Even even if it's like a loot container that does, doesn't have anything I need, it still gives me XP. Okay, so now we're to the east of that first rune, uh, room. Whoa. Holy crap. Superior Brigandine. That's a lot of encumbrance, though, isn't it? What does this replace, exactly? Oh, the vest! Crap! Alright. Alright, so the... Oh, the room before had a loot crate? Uh, the room to the west of here? Over here? Did I already check this? I don't even remember. No, okay. Superior arming cap? Well, well. I think the... the wait, what are we wearing... Whoops, what are we wearing under the... Exceptional. Oh, crap. Which is... Okay. Three, two and a half, three, one and three. Eh. I think Exceptional is the one we're going to keep on right now. And then... That bathroom. Okay. Where the hell is the... Okay. Um, I definitely need to mark this off. Well, see you later, arming cap. Or actually, I need to go... Oh, yeah. Oh, there's a skeleton. All right. And a zombie. These skeletons are very quick. But not quick enough. Oh. Oh. Oh, yeah. Yep. I love that very much. Alright, very nice. Okay, what do you have for me, Skeleton? That is, that is the question of the hour. Oh, come on! Okay. Oh, that's right. I, I'm not going to go this way. I was going to go this way, then I saw the Skeleton. Ah, what the hell. Let's go north. Lots of looms in here, clearly. Uh, and these linen cylinders. Whatever the hell you... <laughs> linen Rolls of linen, I suppose. Uh, let's switch to the torch here. Chain leggings. We've already got that covered. Gambeson. This is cloth trousers. In this room should be a health salve. Oh, excellent. The vest, we've already got the superior brigandine, so that won't be necessary. Alright, good. Excellent. Uh, nice boots, but uh, we're going with the... Whoops, we're going with the greave, so it doesn't matter. 
first of all, this is a fine leather belt. And that is just a leather belt. Yeah, that's fair. There's boots right there. Don't need any of those. Don't need any of these shoes either. Yes, you were correct, Adela. There's the health salve. Always reassuring to find one of those. Uh, no. Absolutely not on the thigh-high boots. Uh, nor do we need any of that. Make sure there's nothing of value on the table here. Uh, just a regular leather belt. Yeah, okay. Uh, chest below the sh... Oh! Wait, first of all, I did open that chest, right? Or did I not? No, I didn't. Okay. Exceptional plate... Uh... Queases or something? Queases? Quizzes? I have no idea. But there you go. So that replaces the crude plate greaves. Blue stripes. Unacceptable. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, okay, wait a minute. Wait, where the hell were the... Over here, right? Is there a chest somewhere over here? I checked both of these, right? Yeah. Okay, so I... Th the one way I haven't gone yet... Nothing there. All right. Uh, oh, there's a chest where boots stand on them. I went by. Oh, that is a chest. Oh, yeah. Okay. I don't know why. I've <laughs> I see. Excellent. All right. Okay, I'm going to go I'm going to go further north. Uh, I should have known that was going to be a bathroom. Doesn't look like there's anything special going on there. This is getting all circuitous and labyrinthine a little too quickly. Felt like I had a sense of direction and now it's completely messed up. Okay, I don't... Uh, yeah, I don't see anything here. Whoa. Oh, that's a chair. I thought that was a zombie for some reason. A proctor, just as I feared, and yet I grew complacent. She was well prepared. Obviously, she had some idea of what to expect. It was only luck that she didn't kill me. I cannot stay here. I must hide or prepare def defenses. I don't know how I'll be able to continue my work. The proctor would have made an excellent subject. A shame I had to kill her, so I will leave her here to impede any who would pursue me. That's wonderful news to know that there's an undead proctor waiting for us. I have found a helmet which blocks my power when I wear it. Perhaps more importantly, it shielded me from the noise of other minds. That presence that has haunted me since I came here was gone. 
Shortly after donning it, I fell asleep. I am certain it was not its power that did this, but the calm that came over me. I had not slept so well in quite some time. I feel certain now that it is this presence that causes unrest and aggressiveness in my subjects. Clearly it is malevolent. Okay. One of my subjects found a most remarkable weapon and escaped, making quick work of anything in his path. I was surprised by his ability to guard his mind against me. I tracked his escape for some time, but he, is, he then completely vanished from my senses. How did he do that? Who is he? Alright, so I believe they're talking about... What is it? It's the helmet that has like a slot for a gym or something, right? I think the proctor is south of me? Okay. Uh, yeah. Not, that's not going to compare to the brigandine that we're wearing. Neither is any of that. And, yeah, same story here. Okay. Well, I am... Well, I do kind of want to go see the proctor, to be honest. But let me finish checking this out real quick. Okay, I'm certain that Zwick is importing contraband goods. We have searched his lodgings and the glass workshop on several occasions, but we never find anything, not even a hiding place he might use. That old toad has been here longer than any of us, and he thinks he can outsmart us. I must be missing something, but what? Alright. So clearly there was some drama going on here. And so that keeps going further that way. Alright. I want to head generally south real quick then because I want to find the proctor. Wait, we already went in this room. That's right. Wait, okay, that's the bathroom. Had I... Uh, I hope I hadn't already been here. I had. Okay, well, let's go. Well, we hadn't gone this way yet, I don't think, so let's try this. What? Did I close it with my sword? And that all looks cool. Alright. So yeah, we want to go generally south to find the Proctor, but I'm... I don't even think... well... We could be heading in the right direction, actually. Make sure there's nothing of interest around here. Oh, well, there is. Alright, take this. First of all, I got... too many damn keys. I'm gonna move some of these just over here. Alright, so the newest one's going to be in the top right-hand corner. Alright, oh good, more reading. Alright, so some of the soldiers are trying to intimidate me into giving them certain items. I made the mistake of trying to explain why we limit their use. Clearly they do not agree, and now they dislike me more. Should I inform the captain? I see no choice that will not lead to more trouble. So the drama continues. And yeah, alright, excellent. So that should be should be it for this room. Right, okay. This is where we came in over here. Alright, so I'm gonna make my way back in this direction. Well, or or I'm not going to. There we go. Okay, and to avoid a future repetition of this, I'll leave that right there. All right. That is, I don't think that, no, that's not the Proctor. But this is towards the... We're close to the portal, I think. Oh, crap, there's a skeleton. Excellent. Oh, there's the damn Proctor, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, this is good, though. 
This is good. If I can get them within close proximity. Yes. Okay, never mind. Just keep backing up because I want them. Oh, shit. Help me out, skeleton. Oh, that's not good. That's not good. Oh! Did that skeleton take the proctor out? It did, and then it ran off, I guess. Is that what happened? Or did it get killed by the other skeleton? Oh, it ran off. Okay, we'll deal with you in a second. Close that damn door. Alright. Okay, first things first, Proctor. Oh, I'm st still in combat mode. What the hell am I thinking? Alright, we already have one of these Proctor things, but I'm going to take that. And we don't need any of that stuff. Or wait, there's that other stuff over here. And that's all a bunch of rusty plates that I'm not interested in. That's it. The poorly balanced two-handed sword, and the Proctor has a finely crafted and well-balanced one-handed sword, which I will take. Alright, so actually right here is where we're going to have to cut the stream off for tonight. Um, but I want to thank everyone for tuning in, and Adderla, thanks for jumping in the chat with me and giving me tips and navigating for me. I really appreciate it. And uh, as long as nothing comes up, we'll be back at this tomorrow right around noon Central Time. So that's it for tonight. I will see you then.